Donald Trump offers Goldman Sachs President Gary Cohn top National Economic Council job President-elect Donald Trump has offered the directorship of his incoming administration's National Economic Council to Goldman Sachs President and Chief Operating Officer Gary Cohn. According to media reports Friday, CNBC broke the news in a tweet Friday morning and said it was unclear if Cohn would accept the post. He had been spotted at New York City's Trump Tower in recent weeks and rumors suggested he was under consideration for multiple positions, including Director of the Office of Management and Budget. Cohn was named co-president and co-chief operating officer of Goldman Sachs in 2006. Prior to Friday's news, reports had surfaced suggesting he was entertaining the idea of leaving Goldman after around a quarter century with the company. In his new role, Cohn would play a key role in advising Trump on domestic and international economic affairs. He would join Treasury Secretary nominee Steven Mnuchin and senior counselor Steve Bannon as prominent picks for Trump's administration who previously had worked at Goldman. Cohn donated more than $33,000 to the National Republican Congressional Committee in 2015. But as a registered Democrat who previously contributed to the presidential campaigns of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton prior to Friday's news, Trump was already receiving scrutiny for surrounding himself with Goldman employees, especially after hitting Clinton and primary rival Sen. Ted Cruz of Texas for their respective connections to the banking and investment behemoth. Trump tweeted in January, for example, that the financial giant owns Ted Cruz. H.E. will do anything they demand. Not much of a reformer, Trump said, during the general election. Trump's campaign ran an ad briefly showing Goldman CEO Lloyd Blackfine as Trump in a voiceover vowed to replace the failed and corrupt political establishment. So Cohn's appointment would be unlikely to sit well with those already frustrated by Trump's leadership choices. A Pew Research Center report published Thursday indicated only 40% of the public approves of the president-elect's cabinet choices and other high-level appointments, 71% approved of Obama's selections. Meanwhile, and 58% approved of those made by former President George W. Bush.